Hi guys, we're at uh, TJ Maxx Home Goods, and we're just looking around at the different Christmas holiday stuff. They have more jewelry. Um, still no Betsy Johnson Christmas stuff that I saw. Um, I thought these gingerbread people were cute because it's one boy and one girl. They have some really cute holiday jewelry on this uh, Jingle and Joy brand. And I think that might be the only brand I saw in the holiday stuff so far. I really like these dinosaur <laughs> dinosaur Christmas earrings. And they have like ones that dangle a little bit. The trucks with the trees in the back. That reindeer is cute. And this little set. They have a ton of different hand soaps, of course, for um, Christmas. And I smelled some of them. Um, I really wasn't a fan of, of too many. And then when I went to go back to, <laughs> to get one that I liked, I couldn't remember which one it was because I looked at so many different ones. Because I got a cart later in my, in my trip to the store. So... Lots of different, different uh, bottles and brands. Most of the scents are sweet, sweeter though. So my daughter doesn't like this, the sweeter scents. My son doesn't care, but <clears throat> you know they use the same soap. So gotta get something that everybody will use without complaining. <laughs> I thought this little gingerbread house soap was cute hand painted just really cute cute designs and some some little sets with soap dishes some of them are glass bottles and some most of them are plastic though on this one. Oh, there it is, right in front of me. $7.99 for that set. Just a lot of different ones. It's, it's hard to see everything, so I just looked at some. This, this soap did not smell like pine frost. I don't remember what it smelled like, but it definitely wasn't a Christmas tree smell. I love a Christmas tree smell. And they do have some wrapping paper. Um, there's this package, this box, and then I see one more. Um, they had some really cute designs on them. So the packaging on this, these bars of soap are adorable. But, um, they just smell like an old lady soap to me. So, I definitely wasn't a fan. I didn't know Croc had snow boots, but they do. And here they are. Or, here's one version of them, I guess. I think they're cute. $34.99. I don't know how well they keep your feet warm. So, these pajamas, Mama Gnome, these are family pajamas, so... Um, they should have some for each member of the family. Sons, daughters, fathers, babies, all that stuff. Um, and, you know, I love gnomes, so I think those are really adorable. And these pajamas are all super soft. So, they have cute pajamas. And they're pretty affordable. I don't think sixteen ninety nine is too bad for a two-piece pajama set. There's some cute little baby, baby stuff, so, you know, baby gifts. It'd be fun for a photo shoot, you know, some of this stuff. And <laughs> cute little hair bows for little girls or boys if they want to wear the hair bows. But I bought these for myself 
I actually went back and <laughs> and got them after I got my cart because I like wearing hair bows and they're just cute and festive and so here's some kids pajamas and then their baby gnome oh so cute so those were the only the mama gnome and the baby gnome were the only ones I saw but I'm sure they have the others so these are just squash mills. they have a nutcracker a Mike Wazowski with a Santa hat um I don't know how much they were, but they're like the larger squash mallows. And very cute. I've seen that peppermint before. I hadn't seen the Nutcracker or the Mike Wazowski. And they have a ton of um, empty hand soap containers. They're pretty pricey. They're like $13, I think, for most of them. But, I mean, they're pretty. I, like, I mean, these are like supposed to be like ornaments and really pretty, so they're pretty much twelve ninety nine. So if you have a fancy guest bathroom, I definitely recommend getting one of these soap dispensers because they're lovely. I don't understand the avocado, avo Merry Christmas. I think it's supposed to be like have a Merry Christmas, but with avo instead. I don't know seems weird. So they got some bathroom rugs in stock now. They were hard to look at because they're all folded in half and the picture on the tag was not what the carpet was. So, um, but they had a good variety of them. This wall, the last time I was in this store, was completely full of hand towels and some regular towels. And here's some uh, runners, like carpet or rug runners. And they have, like, quite a few different ones for the holidays already. I don't often look at this section. Um, I don't know why. It's not as exciting to me, I guess, to look at compared to, you know, all the other knickknacks and fun stuff. But they have some really cute ones. And these mats were really neat, the, the way that they're done. The way the pattern is, like, you know, 3D a little bit and then inset as well. They have these rugs. They're pretty. And they have a gnome one. Which is cute. And they have the front door mats. Um, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I got my holiday mat from Ikea. Because they had a gnome outdoor uh, mat. I couldn't pull that out. These These mats are really heavy. I think that's a... I don't know, a snowman maybe? <laughs> There's this metal sleigh and a cart just sitting. It's $80. I don't know. <laughs> it, it seems like it might be missing something, but I'm not entirely sure because I don't know what you're going to do with it. So it won't hold anything. They have quite a few blankets. Um, I don't feel like they have as many as they did at, you know, for Halloween when they first got that in, but might just be, you know, because they have them spread out throughout the store. Here's more wrapping paper. So they have these vintage looking um, prints, which I think is, is fun. I don't know. It makes me feel nostalgic. I mean, look at that reindeer. It reminds me of decorations from when I was a kid. And they have some pillows. Um, not as many as they had for Halloween. But I think they'll be getting more in. These ones are really nice. They have several different designs for that style. So those are real nice decorative pillows. There's some of the kids' stuff. They have cute shaped pillows. I don't even know what that says. I couldn't tell. <laughs> that tree one was pretty. So, a lot of them, the pillows are plain, just red and white. I think this style of blanket's really soft. 
And they have some blankets that, like, aren't just, like, Christmas right on the nose, you know? They just have some festive coloring to them. Some Ray Dunn blankets. Really cute. I ended up getting a gnome blanket from Aldi because it was like $10, I think, and it's got gnomes on it. It's really cute. And I'm still on the lookout for a blanket for my daughter from Home Goods. There's the kid sets with the blanket and the stuffed animal. They have quite a few. Um, but also a variety. That is not soft at all. That knitted blanket is not soft. They had a couple of different colors in these tall ornament stack to display their indoor and outdoor. This tree was plastic. It's, um, I don't know, similar to the other cone trees, but I think um, these are less expensive. There were some candles. Um, they're kind of spread out throughout the whole candle section. And I don't think I really saw any um, like specific Ray Dunn candles. I think this was just an empty box. Very weird. I thought this tree was cute. It's like a candy cane and it already has the lights on it. This gnome was just funny to me. They have picture frames. Way better than the ones for Halloween because they actually have mats around it and stuff that you can tell that it's for Christmas rather than just the sample picture inside of it. They have bow and ribbon sets, cards, I think this, these gnomes are really cute. They, there's several different sizes and colors um, in those gnomes. And they light up. I just think it's a nice simple design. And really cute. And the colors they have aren't really Christmas colors per se. But... Um, Maybe they'd be festive if you had them with other Christmas decorations. They always have super cute uh, <laughs> napkins and plates. That's I so love this tree rex set of napkins. I was, I'm was, i hoping they have something else with that on it because I think it's really cute. Ray Dunn plates. Quite a few different cards. Uh, and then there's Avo Holly Jolly Christmas. I don't get it. They have cute little gift bags. So they don't have enough room for all the stuff they have in this this aisle. But it's kind of all jammed in there. They have some cute little gift bags for the holidays. And here's another version of that gnome in a gray. Obviously, they're the same price. There's a large one and a small one. I don't know if there's anything in between. There's more candles. This candle smelled pretty good. It wasn't, it wasn't an overwhelming sweet smell. It was nice. It's not bad. that this one was pretty because it's got the nativity scene. So that would be nice to have as a decoration after the candle burns down. More blankets. 
Um, this is in the pet section. They have Life is Good blankets, which um, they have some Life is Good stuff um, throughout the store, like usually like mugs and pet stuff. I just thought that was cute. I think it's like a, I don't know, cheese spreader, butter spreader. Oh, now they have a, there's the green one that's the large size. More candles. They have a Elf Monopoly. They had a great variety of tree skirts. So they have the mini tree skirts, which are just beautiful. Like, look at the intricacy of them. It's amazing. And then the whole bottom part of this aisle was just regular size tree skirts. So they have some different stockings, nothing like super wonderful or fabulous, but you know, they're decent. The beaded ones are really pretty. So there's the tree skirts. They have just quite a few. Some of them I didn't like the fabric, feel of the fabric, but the decorations on them are really cute. I like that. I do really like the icicle lights. <laughs> oh, these were cute, and when I saw those pom pom, the tassels at the bottom, I thought a cat would love that. <laughs> have so much fun. The patchwork one's really cute. It's like a Santa outfit. And that one's cute. It says Merry Christmas. I like those trees too. So many cute ones, and look at the names. Adorable. Oh, there was one with an octopus I just saw. They have like quite a few ornaments, just bulbs and little clip ons, like the butterflies there and the flowers. They just clip onto your tree. So they have the huge sets with like the hundred ornaments and then they have the smaller ones. Now these mini tree ornaments are amazing. It's a set of 100 and I don't even have a mini tree and I wanted to buy them because they look so aesthetically pleasing <laughs> the way that they're arranged. I mean, aren't they nice? I've never seen, seen anything like that. I thought these, that, that wreath was really pretty. So the store, um, they're arranged pretty well too. They have a um, kind of by color section as well. But uh, it's amazing how much they can fit into the store with it being a combination TJ Maxx uh, home goods. So weird. I don't know whether you're supposed to put the light, the light bulbs in these trees, you know, the plastic ones on these trees, or what the purpose of them having holes are. Um, I just thought that was odd. There's another one of the ornament stacks. This cute Santa and his chair. Sixty dollars. And they had some, like, you know, individualized ornaments. That buff snowman cracks me up. <laughs> he has some little skiing gnomes. A mermaid. I really, seeing these again, I wish I had bought them. But those would be perfect to, for a gift card. You could hang it on the tree. I think they're so cute.
We have different angels and elves. This one, I think it's pretty and it jingles. It's got bells on it. Look how cute. $24.99. Those plastic radios back again, like they had for Halloween. A cute little reindeer couple, so adorable. Jingle radio, jolly jingle radio. I think it says that's cute. So you can see it's divided by different colors. I thought these deer were adorable. They're kind of like cartoony. It's a pretty angel. And this one, the glitter came off on my hand, but it didn't stick. So, and I really, I just like this blue color, but the string um, tree idea is really nice. I don't know if that's something that you could do on your own. I liked that tree too. I've seen um, nutcrackers throughout the store that are just solid colors. So, if you want to have like a themed color or two, um, then you might be able to find a nutcracker in that color. And these lanterns are really cute. I think they're only like $10. I thought that was pretty. So many different trees and gnomes and Santas and just so many different things. I lost track of time while I was in this store. <laughs> My husband called and he's like, where are you? Because I was just trying to make sure I caught everything that we hadn't seen before. She's really pretty. $14.99. I like that she has a cardinal in her hand. Santa picture, little picture sign. Those are ornaments. Really cute. Here's some unique glass ornaments. I don't know if there's any two that are the same. And then large jingle bells. I like jingle bells. This, uh, the jacket on the Santa caught my eye. The print on it. This is $50 for this box of ornaments. And they're pretty large. This is a nice like wall hanging countdown calendar. That's fun, I thought. And then you see they have the silver string tree as well. Then there's another solid nutcracker. That one's black. Obviously, but I've seen like turquoise and white and gold. I liked this pipe cleaner tree because it's um, the tips of the branches are uh, gold and the inside part's blue. I thought that was pretty. The Jingle Bell Garland. These, these snowmen from Peppermint Square, I think, are really cute. They have several different ones. It's a light-up tree. It's glass. These ornaments are pretty, but I feel like the glitter would definitely make a mess.
That's pretty. I thought it was wooden metal, but it's just um, like painted on the front with silver. And these gnomes are so adorable. They're only $5, which I didn't think is too bad. This is glass. I'm sorry, not glass, it's plastic, and it lights up. You even have some tree collars. I thought this was cute. It was just one boot, you know, with a arrangement in it. I thought that was adorable. Mm -hmm. Let it snow. Ray Dunn has gnomes, which I didn't didn't notice before. They're so cute. I do like the simplistic um, style of the reindeer. There's a Ray Dunn sign. It says, I'll be gnome for Christmas. <laughs> See, that makes sense to me. The Avo, Merry Christmas, not so much. A lot of different advent calendars. So this is the same Santa statue that we saw at the other store, and he was broken too, but on clearance. This one's not on clearance, but broken. I think that Nutcracker advent calendar is really cute. I haven't seen anything like that anywhere else. It's $30, which I don't think is bad. And this is the Extendable Lake Gnome for $30. I think those are fun. You can get several and have them all at different heights. Hmm. This advent calendar was cute, but it's unwrapped, so I'm worried for its safety. Because <laughs> usually they have plastic on them. Hmm. Fa la 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 sign, rainbow tree. This caught my eye. I a collection of that type of stuff outside. Um, I have a dog and a peacock and flower and birds. And this isn't very big, but it was $50, which I think is crazy because it's like maybe a foot tall, foot and a half tall, at the very most. Cute little um, elf gnomes, too. <laughs> the Pinocchio with the extra nose. Yeah. They have the ornament at the one store, Pinocchio and now this one's nose. just like a knickknack. I think it's so funny that they have different length noses for you to use. Cute. <clears throat> there was another one of those trees, but just all red and green. This is a cute advent calendar. Much heavier than the other ones. More heavy. Twenty-four ninety-nine. Advent calendar, Ooh. really heavy. Get quite a bit of table runners for Christmas already. And I like the pipe cleaner trees. It's fun that they're that they've got so many different things with pipe cleaner trees and the different styles and types. I thought that one was really pretty. Just quite a few different ones, kind of like the um, tree skirts. There's quite the variety. And they have the plastic style, like they had the, um, for Halloween. This is a mantle 
garland scarf, I'm not sure. We have Ray Dunn ornaments. We have the year on them that says Mr. and Mrs. with the year on them. Some tablecloths. Some very few tablecloths and napkins. Um, but um, not many. I'm sure that they'll get more of those. Look at this thing. It is so cute. I found this on dollars and I had to buy it. It's so adorable. So cute. So Look at it. I bought it. And I mean, isn't it the cutest? These are cute. Oh, those birds are cute. With their little winter hats on. Oh, there's a faux leather tree. It's a faux leather tree and has jingle bells. That's fun. Doesn't have a price though. Really pretty. Decorative little trees. Oh my goodness, look at this snow person. This Peppermint Square has really cute stuff. $14.99. What's this for? Oh, oh, it's pretty. I see some mermaids hiding in there. That's funny. These big pipe cleaner trees are $16.99. Ooh, this is pretty. $9.99. <laughs> this elf cracks me up. $12.99. Look at this. Cupcakes and cashmere set of trees. $14.99. There's a unicorn. <laughs> $14.99. It's really cute. Um, there's a Ray Dunn church steeple. This is cute. I wonder if it lights up. $29.99. Wow. Well, definitely does something. It's got batteries. And these big jingle bell ornaments are. Oh no, it's a garland. It's huge jingle bells. <laughs> this is cute and also a little weird. $14.99. <laughs> okay. What is this set of six tree picks? Oh, that's cute. You could totally make something like that. I guess they're just stick in your tree. You guys could do something like that, I'm pretty sure. Another Ray Dunn sign. $7.99. Merry Christmas. Uh, this is pretty. $14.99. I don't know if that's worth $14.99. What's the color though? No, look at these giant Santas. Okay, I saw someone with a giant snowman in their cart. This is crazy. Let's see how much he is. $80. Come on. These are amazing. We have the creepy elves. <sighs> Gnome ornament set. Those are weird. <sighs> Jingle juice. It's just, every time I hear something with juice, like jin jingle juice or something, I think of uh, Pitch Perfect when the, the one girl's like, this ginger needs her jiggle juice. <laughs> That's what I think of. 
Oh, this is redone. That's cute. Believe. This is cute. It's $12.99. So cute. I have this felt tree. $14.99. Look at this. It's like a vintage old fashioned car. So cute. This Santa. Chilling with my snowmies. <laughs> That's cute too. It's broken. I'm not checking the price because it's breakable, obviously. Santa please stop here. Gnome for the holidays. So, some really cute Ray Dunn stuff. Might want to come pick it up because Ray Dunn stuff's really popular. Might be gone soon. Feliz Navidad. A Santa elf kind of thing. This is just a big fake order. Not as big as the non canister gnome, though. Oh my goodness. How cute. My daughter does not need that. It's so cute, though. She's 14. Does she need a stuffed animal to sit on her shelf? I don't think so. All right. These are cute. Look at this one. He looks a little high. Oh, this is a different version of that elf. <laughs> what? I'm very tempted to get one of these. I don't need another mug. Ray Dunn containers. $12.99. Snacks, jingle bells, Santa's cookies. These penguins are cute. And they have a reindeer treat. is pretty. Peppermint Square, 100% melanin. It's $6.99. This is cute. $9.99. This, you guys are skiers. That's cute. They have Snoopy. Some different coaster sets. This wine bottle chiller. This one's cute, naughty, but mostly nice. These are cute, I bet these are absorbent. Thirsty stone, yep. Those are cute. There's Ray Dunn salt and pepper shakers. We have a very little bit of um, kitchen towels. And washcloths. I see the flamingos. Merry Christmas flamingos. 
<laughs> that dog is cute. Seas and greetings. Oh, it's an anchor. Cute. Merry Christmas. So they have some. I'm sure they'll be getting more. So cute. Some other runners. Destroying that. Oh, here, maybe $9.99 for the faux leather. No wine bottle cover, $3.99. Placemats, heavy duty placemats. That's a pretty wreath. It's only forty dollars. That's cute. $9.99. Santa Beach Snow Globe. They have Ray Dunn parchment paper. I'm guessing this is for gifts. Otherwise, I don't know why you would need such adorable parchment paper. <laughs> Look at that little melon. Really is like treasure hunt. Because, oh, this is, they're measuring cups. I saw someone say there was a fly on this. $12.99. They have cookie press. Those are cute. Seven ninety nine. Mm -hmm. have these little sets. Cute. Uh, Seven ninety nine. Look at this stuff. Canister. Potter Studio four ninety nine. That's cute. Aww. That'd be fun if you're having a little Christmas dinner party to get together. Six ninety nine. Oh look. The Brie dishes. I have Santa. Little snowflakes. So cute. Oh, there's some other ones up there. Oh, wasn't me. Winnie the Pooh. Oh, gnomes. So adorable. Those are cute too. Stir crazy, huh? <laughs> That's funny. They have Ray Dunn cupcake <laughs> cups. I don't know if you bake in them or you put them in after the fact. Do you guys know? I never use anything like that. They're cute though. Cookie stamp set. $7.99. Looks like it comes with three stamps. That's cool. I've seen those. We have silicone ice molds. You can also use them for chocolate and that kind of stuff. We have a Snoopy spoon rest down there. Mug section. I don't really see. Well, I haven't seen that Tinkerbell one before. <laughs> That's cute. I haven't seen that. All I want for Christmas is cookies. $24.99. Mm. 
I don't really see any Ray Dunn mugs, which I thought we might because there's like a ton of other Ray Dunn stuff. This is cute. Just a little decoration. It's $12.99. This is cute. It's a holly leaf with a cardinal on it. And some other containers. Cookie exchange. This is so cute. $12.99. There is so much. There's a different giving plate. I think that that's really cute. You keep passing it along. It's a really cute idea. These are cute. $24.99 Santa's cookies. Okay, I found some of the Ray Dunn stuff mug wise. Those are, so this is Peter Pan, but this is Christmas. And then they have Son of a Nutcracker. Oh, it's Elf. So very cute. Smiling's my favorite. Oh, nine ninety nine for the elf ones. Peppermint mocha, but first prey. Cookie baking crew. Seven ninety nine. It comes with a cookie cutter. Cookie time. Jingle bells. This is a salt and pepper thing. Harvest blessed. Oh, humbug. So, I'm trying to ignore this right here. <laughs> because look at it. It's a little tea kettle with a mug. $24.99. I definitely don't need that. The Disney stuff is so cute, but I also like the elf stuff. So this one just says elf, $7.99. It comes with the Christmas tree cookie cutter. That pancake canister back there is adorable too. Just a really cute, oh, let's see now. How cute. Let's see how much these are. $16.99. Adorable. These are really nice. The Lord is my shepherd. I like the black with the white. Though it's hard to tell when you're cleaning the black mugs. Because I have a few inside black mugs. And they're a little difficult. So they have some Hanukkah stuff, snow globes, chocolate bars, menorah, $14.99, <laughs> menorah man with candles, <laughs> I think this is new, I haven't seen it before, it's the dreidel song, oh, that's all it plays for the tester. They have a Hanukkah gnome. $12.99. That's really cute. So, some candles. Happy holidays. Mm, that smells good.
Thank you for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Catch you next time. Bye!